Hi, my name's Jen and welcome to your practice. The focus for today's practice is lizard posture. We're gonna begin standing today at the front short side of the yoga mat. So I typically like to place the blocks off the front short side of the mat just in case I'd like to um, use them as we get moving. So if you have two yoga blocks, you can place those at the front short side. You're just gonna step your feet about frontal hip bone distance apart and then stretch your arms down by your sides, gently turning your palms open to the front of the room, thumbs pointing out toward the sides. Release and relax your shoulders down your back as the crown of your head gently lengthens upward Feel the tailbone gently draw downward toward the space between the heels. Deep inhalation, drawing into the body through the nose. Deep sighing exhalation out through the mouth. One more time, deep inhalation, drawing the breath into the body through the nose. Exhale out through the mouth. Inhale, allow your arms to circle sweep, reaching them around and up by your ears. And as you exhale, allow your right hand to come to your right thigh as you side tilt over to the right. Inhale as you let your body rise back upward through the center, fingertips stretching up. And as you exhale, left hand to left thigh, side tilt the body to the left. Again, inhale, flow the body through the center, press downward into your feet, stretch upward through your fingers, and exhale, right hand to right thigh, side stretch over. Inhale as you flow back through the center, reach up through your fingertips, and exhale as your left hand comes to your left thigh, side tilt over. Inhale as you flow back through the center, Fingertips reaching upward toward the sky. And as you exhale, allow your knees to bend and hinge your body forward over your legs coming into the forward bend. As you inhale, hands on the blocks, your shins or the floor, as you lift the belly away from the thighs, reach long through the crown of your head. And as you exhale, fold your body in towards your legs. Release and relax through your head. As you inhale, let your knees bend, circle sweeping your arms around and up, rising into extended mountain. And on your next exhale, we're going to swan dive over again. We're going to repeat that flow of poses two more times. Forward fold, and as you inhale, hands on the blocks, the shins or the floor, lift the belly away from the thighs, elongate through the spine and through the crown of your head, and exhale as you fold into your legs. Inhale as you let your knees bend, circle sweep your arms, reach them all the way up by your ears. And one last time, exhale, bend at your knees, swan dive your body forward over your legs, release and relax. Inhale, lift your belly away from your thighs, elongate out through the crown of your head and exhale as you fold into your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, reverse your swan dive, rise all the way up. We're gonna be coming forward again as you exhale. So let your knees bend, hinge your body forward over your legs, release and relax your head. Inhale, lift through your spine halfway. And now as you're exhaling, plant your hand, step your feet back into the downward facing dog. As you arrive, just take a few moments just to gently pedal out through your knees and through your feet. As you're breathing in, roll your hips forward into plank pose. And on this first one, let your knees come down to the mat in modified plank. I often like to pick up my feet, 
cross at the ankles and calves, take a breath in and then exhale, allow your elbows to bend, lowering down to your chest and ribs. From there, uncrossing at the feet, tops of the feet root down, inhale, curl up from the back body as your feet press down, curling up through the chest and the chin, and as you exhale, transitioning through table to downward facing dog. Pausing here, gentle movement out through your feet, your ankles and your knees. Anchor downward into your hands and feel the rooting of the hands give rise to your hips upward. Take a breath in and as you exhale, look forward. Take a light walk forward with your feet coming back into the forward fold. Inhale, lift through your belly, lift through your spine, halfway lift. Exhale as you fold your belly, your chest and your chin into your legs. Inhale, bend your knees, reverse. Sweep your arms around and up. One more time, exhale, allow your knees to bend, hinge your body out over your legs, come forward, inhale, lift through the belly, reach through the crown of the head, exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, downward facing dog. Inhale, roll your hips out, plank pose, keep your knees up or lower them down. As you're exhaling, bending at the elbows to lower down again. If the knees are up, move to the tips of the toes as you descend down. Unfolding your feet, ground down, draw the tailbone down. Inhale, rise up from the back body, lift the gaze, cobra pose. Exhale, draw the belly in and lift the hips up and back. Take a breath in. You're going to allow your right leg to rise up into down dog split. And as you exhale, curl your right knee into your chest, set your right foot near your right wrist, lower your back left knee down. So if you'd like to take a moment, to place a blanket underneath of the back left knee for a little extra support that can be helpful. We're going to do a half split low lunge flow. So if you want the blocks, slide the blocks beneath your hands. Low lunge as you're breathing in, let the tailbone draw down and the sides of your body grow up long. And as you exhale, move your hips back in space, racking up onto your front right heel. And then as you're breathing in, plant your right foot down, draw your tailbone down, let the sides of the body grow up long. And then as you're exhaling, let your hips move back in space, rocking up onto your front right heel. One more time, inhale, let the right foot plant, lower the hips down as you draw the tailbone down, side body's long. And exhale as you move your hips back, rocking up onto your front right heel, half split pose. Now as you take your next breath in, allow your right foot to plant. We're gonna take the right foot and walk the right foot a little to the right and same with the left hand. So the left hand might come onto the block. So the pose is really wide. So the right foot to the right, left foot's to the left. Right foot is, is, the heel is spinning in a little bit while the toes are spinning out, kind of like garland pose, malasana. So right hand is gonna press into the right thigh. You're gonna draw the tailbone down, feel the ribs on the front of the body engage toward one another as you take this wide low lunge twist. So you can twist through the ribs. I often like to turn the heart to the right, but turn the head to the left hand. A deep breath in. A last deep breath out. As you're inhaling, let everything come back toward the center heel, toe the right foot in, bring the hands to frame the right foot. Lift up your back left knee, and then you're gonna step your right foot into downward facing dog. Now after that, you're gonna take a breath in, and as you exhale, let your knees come down lightly into tabletop. Pick up your right knee, lift your bent right knee up and then across the bent left knee. As that happens, you're gonna move your feet a little bit apart in the shape of the cow face pose. Maybe walk your hands in just a little bit closer to your body. Inhale, release through your belly, 
lift up through your heart. And as you exhale, cat spine, move your hips toward your heels as your body comes down toward your front left thigh. Inhale as you come back up. Let your left knee come down to the floor as you release through the belly, lift through your heart. And as you exhale, press into your hands and then take your hips back toward your heels or that space between your heels rather. And then one more time, inhale as you rise up, left knee coming down, the belly releasing down and the heart lifting up. And then as you exhale, press into your hands, draw your belly in and let your hips move back toward the space between the feet, cow face pose. See about staying here, spread your fingers, release and relax your chin slightly, soften your eyes, Take a breath in through your nose, deep exhalation. Deep breath in, and then a deep breath out. All right, and then inhale, shift back to your left knee, bring your feet closer together, uncross the knees, breathe in, release your belly as you lift through the center heart, exhale as you find downward facing dog. Keeping the feet at the back edge of the mat, walk your hands back to meet your feet, coming into forward fold at the back of the mat. Inhale, bend into the knees, reverse the swan dive, rise all the way up. And as you exhale, you're gonna take lotus mudra, thumbs, pinky fingers, heels of the hands come together, bend at the knees, chair pose, draw the lotus mudra down into your heart. Take a breath in, circle, sweep your arms around and up as you're rising back into extended mountain, draw your tailbone slightly down, reach through your palms and fingers, exhale, Lotus Mudra, bend at your knees, sink your hips, chair pose with the Lotus Mudra one last time. Inhale, press down into your feet, a big sweeping of your arms, extended mountain. Exhale, Lotus Mudra, coming through the heart, knees bending, coming to forward fold, coming all the way down. Inhale as you lift through the belly, reach out through the crown of the head, Exhale as you fold into your legs. Walking your hands mindfully forward over the blanket to arrive the body back into the downward facing dog. Grounding down into the right ball of the foot, take a deep breath in, sweep your left leg up, downward facing dog split. And as you're exhaling, curl your left knee into your chest, set your left foot near your left wrist, as your back left knee comes down to the floor, prop your hands with your yoga blocks if you're using them. Low lunge, half split, breathe in. Draw the tailbone downward. Let the sides of your body grow long as your shoulders release and relax. And then as you exhale, you're gonna move your hips back in space, racking up onto your front left heel. Inhale, plant the left foot. Draw the tailbone down, feel the belly button draw in, release and relax your shoulders. Exhale as you move your hips back, rocking to the front left heel. One more time, inhale, plant the left foot down, draw the tailbone down, lift through the sides of your body, and as you're exhaling, move your hips up and back, half split pose. As you're inhaling, allow your left foot to come down to the floor. So we're gonna take the left foot to the left and your right hand can be on the block or on the floor. So everything is wide. Heel toe the left foot to the left, right hand goes to the right. Spin your left toes open as your heel spins in. Draw an energetic line from your left heel to your back right knee as you press into your left palm, turn open your heart and maybe turn your gaze toward your right hand. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Last inhale and exhale. 
Okay, everything coming back to the center, left foot coming back to the center, right hand coming to the center. Gonna press into the back ball of the foot, float the knee, left foot steps back, downward facing dog. Take a breath in. As you exhale, lower your knees down, ground down into your right knee, pick up your bent left knee, cross it over be behind the right knee as you move your feet apart. Okay, walk the hands in a little bit, breathe in, spread your fingers, release your belly, and as you're exhaling, draw your tailbone down, and then send your hips down toward the floor. And then breathe in, let your body shift up. So you'll feel your right knee come back to the mat, release through your belly, lift up through your heart, and then as you exhale, press into your hands and round through your back, shift your hips. One more time, inhale as you let the right knee come to the floor, release through your belly, lift through your heart, exhale, round through your back and move your hips down. So hanging here in this variation of the cow face pose for a moment as you breathe in, as you breathe out. Take a breath in. And a breath out. Inhaling, letting the right knee come back down, bringing the feet closer together, uncrossing the left leg. Grounding down into your hands as you release through your belly, lift up through your heart. Exhale, tone the belly, lift the knees, downward facing dog. Hanging here for a few moments in the downward facing dog. Or just an opportunity maybe to fluctuate a few times between down dog and a variation of cobra. So inhale, roll the hips maybe out through plank. A little softening at the elbows so that the thigh bones can swing down toward the floor and the heart can draw through the shoulders and then exhale as you allow your hips to draw up and back. So you can hang in down dog or maybe two more of those. Breathe in, let your hips come out into plank. As you arrive in plank, a little softening of your elbows, let the heart pull through, hands ground down, chin is parallel to the floor, gaze is forward, exhale, hips rise up and back. And last time, inhale, roll the hips forward, just a gentle softening in the elbows, the heart pulls through, the gaze rises. Exhale, draw the front ribs in, downward dog. Pause, breath in, and a deep exhale. Grounding into the left ball of the foot, inhale, sweep your right leg up into down dog split. And then as you exhale, curl your right knee in, set your right foot near your right wrist, lower your back left knee down. So bringing the blocks with you, if you're using them, bring them to the inner uh, right foot. And so um, you can take your right foot off just a little bit wider. I like to spin the heel in, spin the toes out. So your hands can be on the floor or they can be on the blocks. You're gonna bring your gaze down and lean your body slightly forward. And so you might opt for staying right here or you may like to bring your elbows and your forearms down onto the blocks. Um, and then you're gonna still feel some pull from your, your right heel and your left knee, a little bit of draw toward one another. So you're kind of balancing between this point of drawing the right heel and left knee together and then also letting the hips release down to bring a sense of openness to the front left hip in the lizard pose. So the chin will slightly come down and the gaze will be straight down. Taking a deep breath in. Deep exhalation. Okay, and then inhaling, letting your body rise back up to your hands, bringing your right foot back in so you can frame your front right foot. 
lift your back left knee. So you're gonna press off the back left foot. So you're gonna step forward into halfway lift. So just a light press off. As the left foot comes down, inhale, lift out through your spine halfway. And as you exhale, step your right foot back and let your right knee lower down. And then we'll bring the blocks, if you're using them, to the inside of the left foot. So the left foot can just move off just a little bit to the left. And if you like the variation, heel spinning in, toe spinning out, you can do so. And then if you like, your hands can come down to the blocks. I usually go to the lowest side of the blocks, but mid-height works well also. The highest height is a little bit unstable. So just being mindful if you stay up on the highest height of blocks, right? So hands are down. You can bring your gaze down as you lean your body down. So that action of just looking down, leaning forward is gonna create a state um, of grounding. You can stay on your hands, or if you like, you can lean out onto your forearms. So there can be this tendency to hang the head, so I'm gonna encourage you just to create a little bit of length. So the gaze will be down, but the neck will be long. And there's this balancing point between energizing your left heel and your right knee toward one another, and also letting the hips release toward the floor to stretch open through the front right hip, to open through the pelvic floor and the back of the left thigh. Okay, deep breath in and a deep breath out. And then you're gonna slowly walk your hands back up. So keep your hands to the inside of your left foot, but point your left toes forward and you can lean more into your right hand so that you can bring your left leg back behind you. You can move the blocks off to the side and we can bring the big toes close. The knees can go a little wide as you send your hips back toward your heels coming into child's pose. Taking a deep round of breath in, feeling the breath expand across the back ribs. And feeling your exhale fully release from your body as your body sinks downward. All right, last inhale and exhale. You're gonna rise your body up through hands and knees. You can swing your legs around to the right or to the left. Release out onto the opposite hip. Swing your legs around in front of you. And then you can um, move your hips off the blanket, move your knees off the blanket, send that out to the side. And then you're gonna come all the way down to your back body. Releasing down, hug your thighs in toward your ribs. And then let your knees widen a bit. And then let your ankles come up over your knees, reaching up for your feet, happy baby, as the tailbone reaches toward the front short side of your mat, you'll feel a slight um, like lightening of the pressure from your low back down toward the floor. And then you can hug your knees and your thighs back into your body. Let your feet come down to meet the floor. Take your arms wide and then rock your knees from side to side. And then you're gonna open the legs out along the floor, extending through the knees, drop the arms down 
by the hips. And turn your palms to face upward and then just allow your eyes to close. Feeling the weight of your body release and settle. So at your home, you can continue to rest in the final pose for as long as you'd like. If you feel ready to transition, you can allow your knees to bend, planting your feet on the floor. Rolling to the right or to the left, so you can come sideline. Pressing downward to the floor to slowly rise up. Hands coming together at your heart, sitting tall. The light within me sees and bows to that same light that exists within you. Namaste.